All right, guys. Uh, so a couple things to make note of is I went long again today, right? So like I said, I've been talking about this for a very long time now. One of my biggest regrets during the 2020 and 2021 bull market was that it was so easy to go long and people made millions of dollars, if not tens of millions of dollars going long, right? I did very well going short, but I really missed out on a lot of easy money opportunities. And as I approach my 10 year anniversary in trading next month, I'm really trying to adapt. I'm really trying to get better. And I'm really trying to just level up my trading, right? Because I'm, I consider myself a pretty good short seller. And the only thing that I need to work on is going long. So if I can find a way to go long and improve my long game as well, you know, I might double or triple my income every single year, right? So that's kind of what I'm working on. So my criteria for going long is actually very simple and it's so simple because I am just like, I'm like a, I'm like a monkey, right? I'm a monkey when it comes to going long. It's like, it's like, imagine you're playing soccer your whole life with your feet. And all of a sudden you gotta start playing basketball. Yeah, they're both a sport. They both use a ball, but it's a totally different game, right? So when I'm trying to go long, I'm trying to go long when it's so easy that a monkey could do it, right? I'm a monkey. So my criteria for going long is it needs to be the hot stock of the day. It needs to be day one and it needs to be above BWAP. So as I see volume coming in, I'm pretty much just chasing it on the long side with a stop of a VWAP break. So worst case scenario, it breaks VWAP, I lose 10 or 20 cents. Best case scenario, I make a dollar a share. So I bought some three, bought some 310, bought some 315, sold at 360, 390, $4, right? So already I'm starting off my morning with, you know, 802 to in eight minutes. In eight minutes, I'm already making a decent amount of money, right? So I'm actually very happy because it's the second day that I've been going long and the second day that it's been working. Simply because the same criteria that I'm sticking to with avoiding the hot stocks of the day on the short side. Well, if, a hot, if it's a hot stock of the day, I want to go long. And then what I did is I said, all right, like if this looks like it's going to break the high of the day, I'll try to go long again. And if it just rejects on the high of the day, look at this guy, look at this. See the elevated volume? This elevated volume should have pushed it up, right? It should have pushed it up. Instead, it rejected. So I didn't give myself any time on this. I got out for break even and I was like, you know what? This stock looks like it just tried to push up here and had a little mini death candle. So I shorted that death candle around like 360 and I just got out of half around 327. Another 33 cents a share, right? So already I'm starting off the morning with a win on the long side and a win on the short side. And this is what I want to do, guys. Coming into this new year, I want to improve my long game. Pre-market is the best time to go along these stocks. And once the backside is in, once the reversal is in, I'm gonna capitalize on the short as well. So think about it, guys, think about it. If I'm making one, two, three million dollars a year shorting, what the f is stopping me from making one, two, three million dollars longing as well, making five, six million a year, right? So that's my goal, guys. My goal is just to try to improve my long game because you can see, in eight minutes, I crushed this shit. So coming into today, guys, coming into today, it's the same thing as usual, right? I'm gonna look at the watch list, I'm gonna build the watch list, I'm gonna trade the watch list, and I'm gonna take it from there. And as for this BKYI, this was just a simple uh, short into the whole dollar mark and adding when the support broke. So I drew a little support line here at the low of this candle, which is 276. So as soon as that support broke, I added some more. And remember the half dollar mark, 250 is usually where I'm looking for whole and half dollar marks to trim some. So I trim some and now hopefully if it bounces again, I'm gonna get another short on it. So starting off the morning, it's still pre-market, it's 9.09 a.m. and I'm already up a significant amount of money, right? And the reason why is because I'm trading well, I'm trading well, I'm not getting greedy. I'm not saying that this thing has to do this and it has to do that and this. It's just, it's just to me guys, I'm, I'm trading well because I'm trading the process, right? I'm trading the process. I'm, I'm trading exactly, exactly the same way that I would be teaching you guys. And as for what, why, why would I take profit on the long or where would I take profit on the long? Think about it, same thing. Half dollar mark, half dollar, whole and half dollar marks. The half dollar mark 350 and the whole dollar mark four. The inverse of what I'm doing shorting Instead of shorting at the whole and half dollar marks, I'm covering at the whole and half dollar marks. 
shorting at the whole and half dollar marks, covering at the half dollar marks, buying at the whole dollar marks, selling at the half dollar marks. You see how simple that is, guys? I'm not any expert using uh, crazy technicals, crazy this, that. I'm keeping it really simple. Buy and sell using the whole and half dollar marks. So coming into today, guys, nail the long on spec, nail the short on spec, and I'm waiting for this thing to bounce so I can short this again. And now if it bounces, right? If it bounces, I already have realized gains as a cushion in case things kind of go wrong, right? So anyway, let's fill the watches, guys. So yesterday's PL guys, yesterday I made $8,600. Let me show you guys a screenshot in case you missed it. So yesterday went long and went short and made $8,600. So coming to today, remember, how do I build the watches guys? How do I build the watches? I always go back to the previous day's watches and build from there. So SNTG, SNTG. So it looks like the range is done. It's kind of just consolidating. So not really interested in that anymore. <clears throat> CMND, this is just crazy. I can't believe that this thing just kind of pushed up the way it did and then kind of just collapsed, right? This was one that I was long yesterday. I went long over here and sold it up into there. And I tried to go long again and stopped out before this big melt. And then after hours, it had a huge balance from 290 to 350. <laughs> it just fell apart, dude. It fell apart. So this is a very, very, very beaten down stock. And I'll probably just ignore this unless it's kind of going towards that 283, 320 mark. So CMND, extremely beaten down now. Also, you see guys how I don't get greedy and I'm like, it's not going to go to three. It's not going to go to three. I'm just taking my profits and then I'll reset it. Um, extremely beaten down. Looking for a major bounce for 283, 320 in the morning to shorts. Okay, LAES, LAES did a major trap. It dipped and then reclaimed all the way back. So I'm not really interested. LAES dipped and reclaimed yesterday. Major trappy stock, it looks like. So we'll be ignoring the short. NVNI pretty much nailed this yesterday into this short. So short of that high up there. Uh, not really interested unless it gets back up to that $3 mark. Um, so NVNI, ideally a large bounce toward $3 short. And Mara, Mara, as you guys know, the Bitcoin ETF just came out yesterday. It kind of looked like a sell the news scenario until they re reclaimed it. I just think that there's not really much edge anymore. So Mara, no edge on this anymore. So likely ignoring short. Now we move to the stocks that are moving today. So SPEC, SPEC went long this morning, sold it around four, and now flipped short. Looking for a bounce into VWAP to scale in short this morning. Okay. MLEC, same thing, looking for a bounce towards three to short or VWAP. And BKYI, um, pretty much just looking for a nail and bail short if we could get it. Uh, BKYI, looking for a nail and bail short for 280, 3, 320 with a 340 stop. That's it for me, guys. Calling it a $15,200 day today. Show me where are you? 11, 15,270, So far up 23 grand this month. And it's only been two, three days. So that's it for me, guys. What, what, what more can I do here, right? What more can I do? Call it a day here, $15,000 day, went long, went short. So another day of sticking to the process, another day of the MIC process working in you know, 15, 20 minutes, and that's pretty much it.